Survivee, what is on the menu? It is lap gai. And I am going to make lap gai with a chicken called Silky. It is black skinned chicken. Let me show you why I decided to make lap. Look at, are they not beautiful? Look at this one. I love it. This is how I chopped my chicken and I did add in a chicken breast just so that I could have more meat in the lap. What I'm gonna do is start off by taking off the skin. The reason why you wanna take off the skin is because you wanna boil it. This is my first time ever trying this. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit weird for me to eat chicken that is darker, so. Everything is cut up. Skin, bones, and gizzards go into the soup. The meat goes into the oven. Herbs that go into the soup is gonna be galanga, lemongrass, and cilantro stalks. Now that my water's boiling, I'm gonna add in my bones. Remember, we're gonna add everything except for the meat that we cut up. This is gonna go in the oven on bake for about 375. Okay, so now while that is cooking, we're gonna make the foundation for the lap. And one of the things that you need is galanga. Every time I make lap, I have to have the soup too. It's an extra step, but it's so worth it. I have two kids and they love long beans. Here, Kelly, you want a long bean? You want one too? Hey, baby. I saved the cilantro stems the harder pieces because I like the flavor of that too but I make it smaller it's time to check on the baked chicken now This is for the lap. So I took out the skin and the gizzard from the pot. So I put in these onions, tomatoes, if you are a veggie lover like me, you love to put greens in your soup. What I love to put is mustard greens. Okay, time to put it in. Finally, everything is done and cut up for the lap, and now it's time to put it together. Put the barek, fish sauce, salt, MSG, and lime together. After you stir it really well, taste it. Make sure it's okay before you put it in. Time to make the lap. Put in the cut up chicken, galanga, and the sauce. 
roasted rice, and chilies. Mix it up really good. Get a cup of soup broth and mix it in. Put in your herbs. Mix it again. Put in half a cup of soup broth so it could be nice and moist. Yay, it is all done. Thank you for watching. If you like it, press the thumbs up for me. And if you love it, please subscribe.